So guys, what's up? How are you doing today? Today I'm going to show you how to make an image slider in CSS. And I forgot to add one little thing, tree. So we're not going to be using any JavaScript or jQuery or any of those. We're not going to use anything apart from HTML and CSS. So let's get started. We're obviously going to be working with HTML5. Um, so first of all, we need to link our... Um, Well, that's that's quite easy, isn't it? That, that's really easy for us. But anyway, yeah, um, I didn't know. I only started using Sublime, so just learning new things and so on. But anyway, so we just need to link our CSS file to our HTML file, just because we're going to be using CSS. So I use CSS folder, and it's called style. So for you, it may be different. So whatever, whatever you name your CSS file, and wherever, wherever you put it. We just have a little mistake over here, so let me just fix that. Okay. So next thing is actually we're going to start building our image slider. I have some pre-made images already, so that's quite of handy. So just make sure you have images pre-made and make sure they're in the same resolution. You're allowed to have the images not in the same resolution, but it will cause you a few issues because you're going to have a bigger image and a smaller image, so you don't want that. Just make sure you have a nice few images with the same resolution like you know let's say 100 by 200 or whatever you know you get me so we're going to start with a div so div I don't like the way that actually closes it is closes the thing but anyway we're going to say id we'll say equals and we're going to say slider simply just slider okay now it's image time so i'm not going to include any alt because um, we don't need any, but um, yeah, and it saves us time. So I'm just, uh, my images are located in the images folder, and one of them is called France. That JPG or JPEG or whatever. Um, I'm actually just gonna make this a bit easier for us, and I'm just gonna copy it. That's um, I needed five times. Yeah, five images. So um. We have five images here. I'm going to rename some of the images because I do have three images. I don't have five images, but I have three images prepared. So that kind of makes it a bit handier for us. So, and the last one we'll just say Amsterdam again. Okay. So now I'm just going to show you how will this look like on a browser. So I just need to show you. Okay, so now you could see how it looks on a browser. It just looks like a pile of images at the moment because we have no CSS applied to it to allow it to scroll and whatever else. So I'm just going to remove the browser again and we're going to continue on. So we're quite done in HTML. There's nothing else really. Actually, there's one thing. There's one thing I actually forgot. Sorry about that, guys. I kind of totally. We need to add this. Make sure you have this because if you don't have that, you might have a few issues. I use figure. Make sure you use figure. You need it. And um, yeah, don't mind my markup. Um, I'm not really going to look at markup. I will more look at actually the code and how to code things than markup. I don't really want to make it too neat looking because it's just time wasting. Anyway, so now we have it all saved. And now we need to use our um, CSS skills, CSS tree skills. So um, let's get started. First, we will start with at keyframes. So we're just at, when I say at, I mean at, like, you know, like you use for your email. So at email keyframes. Um, I don't know, let's just call it slider. You could call it gun, you could call it cow, you could call it cup, whatever you want to call it. But I'm just going to call mine slider. It's nice and it's pretty simple. So let's do do that. Okay, so now we're going to have to say 0%. We use the curly brackets again. And we say left. And we say 0. We'll just say 0. Yeah, I know, a little bit confusing, but anyway. Now we'll say 20%. Curly 
curly brackets once again and we say left zero again nothing we'll just keep it like zero and I have a little bit of syntax error over here oh messy messy okay so zero okay now we'll say 25 percent so we're going to be going up to 100 percent we're not going to go any further than 100 percent we don't need to go any further than 100 percent and we're going to say left because this image slider will move from left no from right to left so I know minus 100 now we say percent and we actually use our percentages so just make sure you put those in anyway 45 percent we do the same thing um, I don't like the way that went like that but anyway we say left and we say minus 100 percent I think it's percent yeah I think we use percentages now Um next thing is 50 percent so and now once we reach the 50 percent it is a little bit different it's actually minus 200 percent so make sure you put minus 200 percent if you don't you might have a little bit of an issue anyway we're going to continue on we're going to say 70 percent now so it is a little bit of a big jump and we say left minus oh my syntax is going all over the place and 200 percent now we kind of lower down our percentages a little bit I know I know it's getting a little bit annoying but we have to do it now we say um, left again we keep saying we're staying with left we say 300 percent so we actually are increasing our percentages by quite a bit um, okay I think the next one is 95 if if there is some errors I'm sorry guys but uh, I'm not I'm not like some professional over here that knows this off by heart or anything so there might be a bit of an issue but uh, hopefully we won't have any issues and I think it's again 400 percent minus 400 percent next thing is my mouse is annoying me I hate it I hate when it's in the way anyway um, next is obviously um a hundred percent because we get into a hundred and I mean we don't need to use any ninety nine or anything. We just go straight to a hundred percent and we say we say left and we say four hundred percent again. I think four hundred percent. I'm a bit I'm a bit iffy about this. I think it's three hundred. We'll just stick with three hundred. I think it's meant to be three hundred. Okay. So next, we need to actually um, play around with the ID called slider, the one we called in HTML. So I'm just going to show it to you guys. We have to actually play around with this. We have to actually edit this whole div. So, and we have to play with the figure thing too. But anyway, um, this is kind of the last three things we need to do. There's a few, a bit of, there's another maybe few lines of code. That's not too much. So anyway, so we say hashtag, hashtag slider because that's the name of the ID we used over here slider so if we use something else then you know there will be something else written there anyway so we use overflow and we say hidden okay so that's done we're done with that that's it you could forget about it guys just forget about it okay so hashtag again we say slider we say figure and we say image okay now just a few little things okay we say width oh, width and we set it to 20 percent just 20 percent oh not that no no wrong keys okay so and then we say float we say left that's what we say we just say float left okay so that seems a bit too easy doesn't it okay um, I think we're kind of nearly through the hard part. I think now it's quite easy. It's nothing, nothing too complicated. So we say slider again, and we just say figure, just figure. Okay. Now comes um, position. So position. So we just write this in. Okay. So next thing is width. Um, it's five hundred percent. 
Okay. 500 because there's five images, as far as I remember. If there's six images, you need to have 600 because every image is 100%. As far as I remember, don't just do test this out because um, I have never really tested it as much. I had five images, I set it to 500. Actually, that's that's what I did when I actually first done this. So um, so don't mark me on it if I'm wrong or not. Um, I'm not professional now. I'm, I'm only a student, so don't don't go stabbing me or anything like that because uh, I, I still want to live. Anyway, we say left and we say zero. We text a line, text a line, and we say we say left. Okay, and that's easy. We say font size and we just say we say zero. Okay. Now, this is actually the last thing we need to write down, and that's it. It's actually going to work. We're going to say animation. We're going to say, let's say, 20 seconds. 20 seconds. And um, we have to say slider. Okay, so slider. I think it's slider. Okay, so whatever you call, uh, whatever you call this. I call a slider, you could say gun, you could say cow, cup, whatever. You have to name it over here. You have to. Um it's just it's just a rule that you have to go with. And we say infinite. This will mean that it's gonna rotate without stopping pretty much. Okay. So we're basically done. Now don't uh, don't don't kill me if this doesn't work straight away because I'm actually not too sure. I hope hopefully it works. This is quite annoying. Okay. So we just need to actually remove this, and I think I think there's two hi two here because we have to close actually the, the whole keyframe thing. Anyway, so hopefully this does work from the first turn. Actually, yeah, it does. Okay, guys, I just need to show it to you. So here it is. So you could see the image scrolling um, really nicely. See, it scrolls. Um, so yeah, this was basically how to make it an image slider using CSS and HTML so guys I think it's pretty simple to make this and um, this was my first video so if it was a bit bad or anything I'm um, sorry about that then um, first video always comes with a lot of issues and mistakes maybe but um, yeah so here's a little image slider thanks for watching please do subscribe drop a like comment if you have any issues and um, I'll see you soon you'll see more videos with HTML CSS but you also will see actually some program languages like JavaScript and um, Java. Not sure about JavaScript as much now. I'm more be going leaning towards Java. But um, that's that, guys. Hopefully this helped you out, and uh, see you soon. Thank you.